Hey yo guys, and welcome to the third episode of Top Tutorial. So today we're going to do Alpine Skyway, which I just revisited in order to get the sub-34, gained a bit more knowledge while improving my time. And just before we get started, I'd like to mention that I am open to track suggestions. Uh, the tops I already have, well I do have a few, they're not going to last forever, so... If there are any tracks that you want to see me get tops on and do tutorials on, just put it in the comments below, it would be really appreciated. So, Alpine Skyway, as a track I'd call it fairly... A fairly straightforward overall, there's definitely a few sections that need practice, such as the sh the shroomless at the end and the ending zippers especially, but that's not gonna all come in due time. So, uh, for the start, actually I'd say it's, uh, it's better usually to aim a bit further left and to just get a right drift trick and keep the right drift going the entire way. It'll usually lead to better lines. Uh, the one thing I'd say is that you gotta be careful for this lip here. While you do want to try and aim for it somewhat, it can really easily send you either over the edge or just on the right side. So, try and cut it a bit, but as little as possible, especially online, so that it doesn't end up sending you super far away. Uh, so drift trick, uh, so drift tricks overall. Or this truck, if you want to drive it fast, you're gonna have to learn how to do drift tricks properly. Uh, if you don't know how to do them, I mean, it's pretty much in the name, but uh, what you'll want to do is that you'll want to start a drift as you hit the boost panel and keep the drift going for the entire duration of the trick so that you get a bit less airtime. Uh, the main draw of it is the airtime, though it can fuck up with your alignment depending on where you aim, but that's just going to be something that you're going to have to consider in your lines in general. Uh, here you hold a single drift, so you can just release your MT around here and go straight into a wheelie into the cannon. And speaking of which, um, this cannon actually can get you a wheelie lock once you get on top. So what I recommend is keeping your stick entirely neutral from the point that you leave this boost panel. Uh, it tends to make it so you don't have, uh, you don't stick as much, but you can get a wheelie lock or something if you like nose diver, for example, from experience at least. And here comes the first, actually, hard part of the track, which is the Shroomless. And there are a few misconceptions about it. Uh, the first being the angle that you have to take it at. Some people will say, oh, you need to be, like, instantly go wide and then just hard drift tight. Or, oh, you need to take it later. Um, here's, here's a little bombshell. Uh, the angle you take it at really does not matter. If you check different ghosts, or if you if you want to try it for yourself, uh, set a ghost and then try and take the cut at different angles. There are only a few rare times where you gain or lose time, and that's only if the angle is a bit too extreme. So that's why blocking it actually at the entrance of the cut is a bit difficult. You'd rather block it at the ending, where it's more it's more likely for them to get hit on landing. Or either that or just save your backs for more difficult uh, for more difficult turns. Like this one at the start especially is actually a good one to block. Because um, this turn right here, you'll want to take tights anyway in order to get set up for the cuts. So blocking around here, like putting a fib around here, can force them wide and make them take a really weird line going into cuts. So I'd say this is a good block spot rather than just trying to block around the cut in and of itself. But yeah, so usually you'll just want to get an empty here, empty wheelie, aim wherever uh, your opponents aren't going or just where you feel most comfortable, and then just start a drift, and just go. Actually, I'll rec I'll, I'd recommend 08 drifting here because it gives you a tighter angle overall. If you don't know what 08 drifting is, essentially just uh, start like moving to the direction you want to drift before you hop rather than delay drifting, which usually charges your empty faster, but here you'd rather have the tighter angle. Uh, so you just hold on to it. Um, before you land, you want to just uh, tilt back a little bit to make sure that you don't bounce. It, it prevents bounces most of the time. But here's the important part to gain speed on here. You actually want two empties around this last turn. You'll want to get one a few, like a bit after you land and then the second one as quick as possible. Those are going to be your main time saves on the cut, really. What you'll want to do is that with the second MT, you'll want to uh, go as around as tight as you can around here. It's funny if you go a bit wider after, since you're going to get a drift trick after for realign anyway. But yeah, you'll want to just end up tighter on here. So here, normal trick, and then drift trick to get onto the ramp here. 
drift just a little bit while you still have the trick boost to keep yourself at top speed. Hop in uh, don't need to you don't need to hop into the cut uh, because you're going to drift during the cut and get an empty out anyway, so you don't need to hop during it. This ramp actually this this ramp in particular actually gave me a lot of um, a lot of no tricks. If you try and start the drift too early, there's a very high chance that you'll just end up hopping over the ramp without being able to get a trick. So I'd recommend starting your drift like really, really late. Like, not like, take your time with this drift trick in particular because it's very likely that you'll skip it. So after that, nothing much. Just be careful around this turn. Uh, it's very like uh, depending on your angle, you can get a wheelie lock as well. So I'd recommend starting a drift early. You can actually see my ghost here getting like a really bad slip and just losing a lot of time there. Uh, another drift trick here, and this one I also would recommend starting as late as possible because if you start it too early, if you trick too early, you can actually gain, uh, you can actually like lose a lot of speed in the air for some reason. It's um, it's what I've noticed at least that you tend to lose a lot of speed if you just trick early. You want to like delay it as much as possible. As for the last section, uh, so if you're on lap one, lap one and two, you'd wanna um, you wanna get two tricks around the zippers here and at the ending. If you're on lap three, you wanna get only a single trick that skips the last corner, like this one. Although if you're on a pay, if you're on top space in TTs, you gotta be careful about this shy guy, which often is gonna end up around here and just mess you up a lot. It actually does uh, mess me up quite a bit at the end of this particular run. Uh, but if you want tr uh, tips overall on how to take these uh, zipper tricks, you want to go, f you want to start as parallel as possible to the zipper, so that you go for as much distance and as little height as possible. Uh, so you go as parallel as you can, try and gain as much distance as little height. And uh, so what I'd recommend is starting a right drift and before you go into it, so you get as tight of an angle as possible. Uh, as for the timing of like when to get onto the zipper, I would say that it doesn't really matter. Uh, the angle matters a lot more than the timing on this. The only thing I'd say to be really careful about is if you go too late and around like this um, this section of the zipper, it can easily send you to the side and just make you lose a lot of time. So if you want to be safe, especially online, just do it early. Focus on your angle, and you'll gain a lot more, sh a lot of time from it. As you can see, here I get a really low trick, and I gain pretty much a lot of speed on, uh, on my ghost here. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the clean run. Thanks for watching.